to our live stream. Thank you very much for coming. It is lovely to see you all here. We're just going to do a general cruise Q&A today. So if you have any cruise related questions related to destinations, ships, what it's like to go on a cruise, what it's like to have a job on YouTube, then just leave them in the comments. If you can start your question with question in capital letters, it just makes it so much easier for me to pick out what is a question. And I will do my best to answer as many as I can. I see we already have some in the chat. So I think I'm going to head straight into them. I did see something which I thought was very clever. Where is it? It was from Rich. You're in here somewhere, Rich. And Rich says, is, is that, is that version four we're looking at? And you are the first person to notice that I did put the very first design of version four Captain Hudson on the thumbnail of this video. So well done, Rich. Uh, well done for noticing. And thank you to Philip, who's become a member of the channel. You now have 160 something podcasts you can listen to. You can join us in our Discord chat. We have outtakes. We have all kinds of things. And if anyone else wants to join that, it's kind of an insider's you know, bonus content club. Just press the join button somewhere down here. Hello to the cruise boys who are in here. Hello to Lou. Hello to um... <laughs> Jackie says, why is there a lag when the live stream starts? By the time it opens, you are already speaking. I have no idea. On my side, there's not a lag. When I watch them back on replay, there's not a lag. Um, so must just be something like that. Please wear a cute T-shirt. I have gone for the Emma Cruises T-shirt because... Why not? Why not? This isn't one I normally wear when I'm actually on my cruises because it feels a bit weird to wear a T-shirt that has my own name on it. <laughs> it feels a bit strange. But a lot of people do buy these. I do a discount every single week on the live stream and I thought we would do discount Emma Cruises. So this is the Emma Cruises ones, which are good if you know who I am and someone else knows who I am, then you can be friends. <laughs> I think that's the idea. Um... If you had to live on a ship for a year, no excursions, which ship would it be and why? Love all your content. Keep up the good work. I mean, if I was going to be on a ship for a year, I'd probably want the most choice possible. I'd want the one with the most restaurants. I would want the one with the most entertainment. It'd be hard to entertain for a year, I suppose, but I'm sure they could do it. So probably I'd go with the big one. I'd go with the big Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Because I spent seven nights on Symphony of the Seas. It was fantastic. But it was really hard to see everything that I saw, which was not everything, in seven days. And I barely got off that ship. I barely had any time to do any exploring in the ports because I needed to get all of these different shows done. And it was a lot. It was really fun, though. Uh, Carol says, hi, Emma Spanners and shipmates. I quite like that. That's cool. <laughs> oh. Hudson is one tough cat. He survived minus 30 overnight when he arrived and did not ring the doorbell. Just to be clear, this is the toy Hudson. This is not real Hudson. <laughs> my goodness. Yes, uh, it's not an official design. It is my first design. I think I am going to change the positioning of where it says Emma Cruz is on the collar. I think that will just get a bit messy. Um, but apart from that, I, this, this is the theme. This is the theme for Captain Hudson version 4. It's kind of a beach theme, a Hawaiian shirt. I thought, you know, he can wear those to the Caribbean. Thought that would be cool. Oh my goodness, so many questions already. I thought I had catch up, uh, catched up, but I haven't. <laughs> Apologies. Um, would you do a cruise with Cunard 49 nights Southampton to Sydney or Grand Princess 37 nights Sydney return to Hawaii? Oh my goodness. I mean, both of those sound absolutely fantastic. I would take either of those in a heartbeat. There's no question I would love to do those. I think for such a long cruise, I would pick Princess over Cunard. I like both. But it's a lot more formal on Cunard. There's a lot more dressing up, which is fun for a week. But I think after 49 nights, I would just want to wear my jeans and my leggings and I wouldn't really want to dress up to go for dinner. Um, but I do like both. I, do, I like both a lot. Uh, would you consider going on the nine month round the world cruise? No, I wouldn't. I'm going to bring you a video about why I, I'm not really interested in world cruises like that. But it's interesting. It is interesting. I think a lot of first time cruisers have boarded this Royal Caribbean nine month cruise. And it's interesting to see their thoughts. But I would not suggest for anybody to do a first cruise and nine months long. <laughs> I mean, don't do anything for the first time that's nine months. It seems an awful lot. Yeah, don't have enough fancy clothes for a 49 Cunard cruise. Yeah, you would definitely have to do some washing. Laundry if you're from not the not the UK. I don't know. Do other places say washing? Let me know if you say washing or laundry. 
and where you're from. Uh, how old is Captain Hudson? Depends if you mean the real Hudson or these toys, because a year ago, none of these toys existed. I had a meeting today with Mercy Ships. They want to cover where Captain Hudson has been, which is very cool because he's been to Antarctica. He's been to Sydney. He's been everywhere. And all the profits of these go to Mercy Ships, the charity. So that was very, very cool. But yeah, these ones are less than a year old. The real Hudson is around 10. He is a cat's protection, adopted cat. I don't really know when his birthday is, but he's probably around around 10, I would say. Um, Claire says, is there somewhere you can research ports to see whether an excursion is necessary or can you just hop off and you're in the centre? There's a website called What's in Port, which I like to use quite a lot. It sort of just gives you maps and stuff like that. Um, normally, Google Maps is a good place to start. You need to find out where the ship docks, though, because sometimes you'll be in an industrial port that's not anywhere near the center of town, but sometimes you will. Uh, Paul and Carol in the chat, so nice to see you. Still laughing about our theater visit. Looking forward to the next time. Yes, I took Paul and Carol to see Book of Mormon. If you've seen Book of Mormon, it, you know it's quite a funny show. And um, Paul and Carol loved it. So yeah, I'm so glad. I think we are stuck on live in two minutes, says Lou. I don't know what that means, Lou, um, but hey ho. Yeah, what's in port is a good app. Yeah, it is good. It is good. I did today, I was quite organized before this live stream. And I put a few links in the description to things that I think are interesting and things that I've written about this week. So there is one in there, which is about a cat that was smuggled onto a cruise recently. And it's a bit ridiculous. No one claimed this cat when it was on the cruise. Someone clearly smuggled it on board. And then they were just like, even the person whose cabin this cat was found in, they're like, not my cat. <laughs> so weird but luckily the cat was adopted by one of the crew members on board so it is all okay but they think that someone smuggled a cat onto a cruise in you know you know you have to go through scanners when you board a cruise but they're metal detectors cats are not metal and they probably had a big coat on or a jacket or something and it had a cat in it i don't know i don't know why you would want to do that unless you really like your cat but then why would you not claim your cat so strange <laughs> Uh, Michael says, your makeup is on point. I'm, I'm an older gay man with an eye for fashion and style. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Cruise boys say, please smash that like button. Yes, if you could do that, that would be um, very good. Is an Oyster card better for visitors in London? I don't have an Oyster card and I go to London quite regularly. You can use any sort of contactless card on the tube. So just if you have any contactless credit cards, I think that's easier. You can use Apple Pay. Um, I think that's easy. Uh, do you know who Dr. Becky is? You look alike. Yes, she does all kinds of videos about things I do not understand, but I absolutely, I know who she is and I get comments probably every couple of days asking me if I'm her, but we've had conversations at the same time. We're not the same person, not the same person. Um, are there any cruise companies that allow you to take your dogs with you? I've seen Cunard do on a transatlantic. It's only Cunard that have the kennels on board. If you have a, you know, a guide dog, something like that, then normally that's okay. But you can't just bring a regular dog on a cruise. Gen generally speaking, generally speaking. Uh, will you be traveling with, I always say Havilla, but that's wrong. <laughs> Harvilla <laughs> before summer. Yes, I will be. I will. I'm really looking forward to it. So um, interested in your views as I'm going. Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, have started watching Dr. Becky and she is really good and so smart. Yes, she is. Yes. Probably every few days I get questions and I don't know. what. Do not ask me about the things that she talks about because I don't understand any of it. <laughs> Maybe same. I don't know. We could combine, actually, because Queen Mary 2 has um, like an observatory on board. And I guess I don't know. Maybe that would work as a, as a collaboration, but I'm not sure. Um have you heard about Royal Caribbean's dog Rover? Yes, I have. I saw Matt from Royal Caribbean blog did a, a post about Icon of the Seas and, and the dog on there. That's a bit different. <laughs> that's just, that's not a regular passenger taking a dog on a cruise. Um, mm -mm -mm. Some interesting questions in here. Thank you so much to the moderators who look after this chat. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Oh, hi, Emma. I've been inspired to take my first cruise, uh, also solo holiday. I'm booked on a Norwegian Fjord cruise. Any advice? Do's and don'ts. If you Google Emma Cruises Norwegian Fjords, you'll find, I think, 32 of my Norwegian Fjord tips. I've done quite a few cruises to the fjords, one of my favorite places in the world. Bring a coat, bring comfortable shoes, bring credit cards. You don't really need cash. Um, and most places you can do them yourself. You don't really need cruise line excursions in Norway. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, please, if you can like the stream, it just gives YouTube a, a good sign. It doesn't really do anything, but it's free. You can press the button, same as the subscribe button. We are nearly at 300,000. I think we've got one and a half thousand to go. So if, you, if you're not subscribed or you you might think you're subscribed, but you're actually not. Please just check and see if it says subscribe down there. Do you think that Icon is too big for a cruise ship? I don't. And I think this we have this conversation every time a new bigger ship comes out. And this is not a new thing. This is not <laughs> in the last few years. If you look back, you know, when they launched, I watched a video from my friend Chris earlier and he was talking um, about the Queen Mary 2. And when she was launched, she was considered massive <laughs> and it's just we just keep moving the goalposts the problem of course is you don't want a ship that is so big that it can't get into port that would cause problems um it just means more tendering it's a bit annoying but yeah as long as there are also small ships i don't think it's too big i think it's it's, it's good fun good fun there is a side of me that wants to see the questions that the moderators block. And then there is a normal part of me that thinks what is wrong with people. I think we do we do all right on these live streams. It's not terrible. But um, I also can't really see them. I, I see some weird things come up sometimes and then they disappear because the moderators are on it, on it. If you see a little spanner next to their name, they are the people with the power. Like, for example, here's my mum. She can share links. <laughs> That's one of mum's powers. Uh, so here's my Norwegian fjord tips. Yes, Norwegian fjord tips. How cold and windy is a way a May Western Mediterranean cruise? Um, planning for planning for packing. May is kind of a. It'll probably be quite nice. Probably be quite nice, but never assume it's going to be sunny all day every day. Um, yeah, I, I think I would. I would still. I would still bring a light coat, <laughs> probably. What is the weather in the UK today? It is quite a lot warmer than it was yesterday. Yesterday, I think we were at minus one when I checked, and now we're about plus five, so that's pretty good. My windows here all iced up yesterday, but they're melted. Yeah, Britishisms, Spanners. <laughs> Lou says, we are the wrenches and Spanners, and we live to smash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, what is your favourite stop on a British Isles cruise? Oh, the one that comes to my mind first is Edinburgh. I think Edinburgh is really cool. But there's not really any that I didn't enjoy on my British Isles cruise. I was really pleasantly surprised by Liverpool, actually. I'd never been to Liverpool, and it was really nice. Um, now I've been quite a few times, always on cruises. <laughs> I've cruised from the US for decades, but never the UK, which is the easiest cruise port in the UK. Southampton is our main cruise port, it is our biggest cruise port. You may see it described as Southampton, London. It's nowhere near London, um, but it is our biggest port down on the south coast. We also have other ports. You, know, you can cruise out of Newcastle, you can cruise out of Dover, you can cruise out of Portsmouth, but Southampton is way bigger than any of the others. There'll be way more choice there. It's pretty easy to get a train there. You can get a coach there, coach being a Britishism. I don't really know how to describe a coach. It, it's the buses that are long distance, long distance buses. And um, yeah, it, as far as a location goes, it's fairly easy to get to from all of the airports. So yes, yeah, Southampton. Oh, Jonathan says, hi, Emma. I recently watched an hour long documentary on the behind the scenes operations on an MSC cruise liner. What amazes you most about the logistics of a cruise ship? I love these TV shows. I really like these. It's the ones that go behind the scenes that I think are most interesting. I'm not particularly interested in the cruise TV shows where you follow someone else going on a cruise. I don't know. I much prefer to see inside the laundry. I prefer to see inside the galley. I prefer to see how much bread they make, how they ripen the bananas at the right time, things like that blow my mind i think you think about things like laundry think about how many towels there are on cruise ships think about how many pillowcases and uh, it just blows my mind but yeah food also it's very rare on a cruise that food is unavailable or that i found anyway they might run out of pepsi max perhaps but not really um and just it's just a numbers game you know when you have so many people cruising you can kind of look at the statistics and say this many people will eat this, this many will eat that. And it works out. The, the more people you have, the more likely you are to be right, uh, which it must be tricky. You know, I took a cruise last year on a yacht. On a yacht, it must be really hard to work out because if you have one person that doesn't like eggs, <laughs> for example, your whole planning is different. It's different on a yacht. I guess they pick up more things as you go. But yeah, the food, the laundry, the fact they can turn around a ship in under six hours. Yeah, it's so fast. It is just, it is just incredible. 
Yeah. Um, do you ever run into your subscribers on cruises? And is it awkward, says Nick? Uh, not awkward. I would say some some interactions are obviously nicer for me than others. The ones I really like are where people come up to me and they say, Hi, Emma. I know you because I watch your videos or I've seen you on Facebook or I tweeted you or something. And then I know that's where the conversation is. The ones that I find a bit awkward just because I feel bad are when I'm sat somewhere and someone will come and sit next to me and they know me, but I don't, I, I have no idea who you are. I've never seen you before. And then I just feel so bad because I'm thinking, did I meet this person before? Have I forgotten them? Like, I don't know. And then sometimes they'll be like, you don't know who I am. And I have no idea. <laughs> of course I don't know. <laughs> but you know, 99.9999% of people are super, super lovely. <laughs> um, only been on P&O. Any recommendations for other cruise lines? Not the real party ones. If you like P&O, if you like the more... There's two sides of P&O. There is the more modern family side of P&O, and then there's the more traditional side of P&O. I think if you like the more the smaller ships, the more traditional P&O, if you do something like Princess, if you do Celebrity, if you do Holland America, they're the kind of ones that I, I would suggest. As far as the newer ones go, they are more like the party ones. They're more like, it's not the same as Royal Caribbean. It's not the same as Norwegian, but that's the kind of market that they're going for. But yeah, if you went from P&O and you did Princess, I think of Princess as being sort of the American version of P&O. I don't know if they would want <laughs> would want that description or not, but I do think that. Yeah, we have to remember one face. You have to remember 300,000. Well, the thing is, is sometimes people come up to me and they'll be like, hi, I have a picture of Snoopy on Instagram. And I'm like, I can't. It's not even that I have to remember the faces. I, the, these people don't have faces a lot of the time. Uh, so that's tricky. That is tricky. Have you had any non-cruise holidays recently? I can't remember the last time I did a non-cruise holiday. Not since I started this business in 26. 2017 I don't think um it wasn't really a business back then but uh, yeah I wanted to spend all of my time cruising you know I had a limited amount of annual leave it didn't really make sense for me to do anything else other than go on a cruise and I don't really want to <laughs> don't really want to I do you know if it was not for my business you know I would go somewhere maybe stay on land for a week take a cruise for a week I do a bit of more of a combination but right now yeah Live and breathe cruising every day, every day, because I love it. Yeah, Rich says, I have such a bad memory. I would walk by an actual, but walk by the actual Emma wearing the shirt and ask her, do you watch Emma Cruises on YouTube? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, one of your Hudsons fell over in the back. What, this, this one? He's not really falling over, he's just leaning. That one's sort of fallen backwards, but that's okay. They're all a bit different. They're all a bit different. Um... Oh, yeah. My mom says you went to a mega log cabin, Maybank holiday, a free trip. Yeah, my dad won a trip in a log cabin. So <laughs> I guess that counts. I guess that counts. Um, and that, that log cabin, I mean, we didn't pay for it. Dad won a competition, but it was supposed to be the price per person was very comparable to a cruise or more expensive than a cruise. And it didn't include food. It was nice, but I'll pick a cruise. Definitely pick a cruise. Um, how can I get info on TUI as a US resident? Can't access their website. Oh, I didn't know you couldn't access their website. Whenever I speak to TUI, TUI the river cruise, are, you, are we talking about TUI the river cruise or TUI the German um, cruise line? Because that's different. But TUI river cruise, you can just phone them. That's what they say. That's what they say. Um, <laughs> uh, any US-based cruise plans anytime soon? I am heading to Alaska. Alaska, which is very exciting. Let's get Hudson some treats for joining us on the live stream. Um, but I have cruised from the US quite a lot. I've cruised out of Miami. I've cruised out of New York twice last year. All right, let's see if Hudson will do some high fives. Hudson, you can do a high five. High five. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> you got to reach. Yay. Well done, Hudson. You're so clever. Um, who here remembers Thompson Cruises? I never took a Thompson Cruise, but they are Morella. They are Morella now. Morella. Oh, please don't bite me. <laughs> oh, oh, Hudson's licking my hand. Lovely. Um, third, third favorite soda if Coke and Pepsi aren't available. Mm, mm, that's very rare that that would ever happen. But I guess like a Fanta, maybe? I would prefer a Coke or a Pepsi though. 
That is Hudson. Aren't you so cute? He's so handsome. Um, are you planning on doing more super yacht content? Uh, that was very much very different from the content I normally make. That was a press trip. I didn't pay for that. That was supposed to be £850 per person per night. Um, so it's not something I'm going to be booking anytime soon. But if there's any more super yachts that you'd like to see and that the company would like me to show you, then sure, because it was great fun. Um, cherry Coke. No, 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 definitely not. Hudson enjoying his YouTube royalties. Yes, he is. Um, how does Hudson do when you're away traveling? He doesn't care. Doesn't even care slightly. Doesn't even say hello when I come back. Doesn't care. <laughs> Can kill us. Um, cucumber Sprite. Oh, I do like Sprite. That would be good. Um, are you budget conscious? Do you travel solo often? I never, never, ever cruise solo anymore. I would if it wasn't for this channel, but with so many millions of people seeing my face every single month, I can't cruise solo anymore. Um, yeah, no, I just can't. But I am budget conscious, yes. But I like to do all kinds of things now that this is my business. You know, sometimes I'll spend more money than I would have before because, you know, I want to I want to show it, you know, there's only so many times I want to do the same inside cabin. That's, it seems to be that's all people want me to do is inside cabin reviews, but they're pretty much the same. So I do like to sometimes, for example, last year I took a cruise on Celebrity Edge. That was very nice. Took my mum on that one, but you wouldn't call that a budget cruise. So I would say I have a wider range of cruises that I do now for sure. As long as it's not Coke Plus. Yeah, Coke Plus is not even on the list. I prefer water <laughs> than Coke Plus. <laughs> this is the. Um, coke that they had on my asian cruise it's a japanese coke i believe and it is um well, when i googled it when i googled coke plus it came up with japan is losing its mind and bowels over coke plus <laughs> so i don't want that i don't want that um with your travel agency would i be talking to a person or just doing everything online um it depends if you want to talk to a person or not. I know some people really don't want to. You can book a cruise through me um, without talking to anyone. You can do it all by email. In the UK, we have an app. It's an app you accept the quote on, you pay on there. So if you don't want to speak to anyone, don't have to speak to anyone. And if you want to, then you can speak to anyone. So both, <laughs> if that's okay, as an answer. Oh, action Hudson's. Yeah, I do think of him as being a superhero. So this week I've been doing a lot of work on the Captain Hudson's children's books that we're bringing out soon. And one thing, I have to pick a cover, of course, an artist. And I have a lot of people that I've hired to do it. And a lot of them, the submissions, they make Hudson look like a little, I don't know, a sad little weak, fluffy cat. And he's not. He's cool, right? Hudson is strong. Hudson is sensible. Hudson is, even if he's small... Yeah, he doesn't need looking after. He looks after himself. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich? Mm, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, if you think about it, it's more like a taco. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you offered me a sandwich and you gave me a hot dog, that'd be a bit weird. If you cut the sausages and then put them in a sandwich, then it's a sausage sandwich. So it's just different arrangement of the same thing. Um, I work in travel and I'm attending the Icon of the Seas welcome event, a short sailing. This is my first time cruising. What do I wear? So Royal Caribbean generally are pretty relaxed, pretty chilled out cruise line. Most of the, I mean, in the day, you'll just wear your normal clothes, jeans, t-shirts, dresses, whatever you want to wear. In the evening on a welcome event like this, like a preview event, they will probably have some sort of, they'll call it gala, dress to impress, wear your best, whatever you want to wear. Uh, because it is a press sailing and it's exciting. They don't always do that on short sailings normally, but I would I would bet good money that on here they'll have one night where people dress up at least. But the other nights, I think, as far as I can remember, on Royal Caribbean, if you want to go into the main dining room, you have to wear, if you're a man, you have to wear trousers, not shorts. And that's about it. <laughs> Same with women, you can't wear shorts, but you can wear a skirt, which doesn't really make any sense. But yeah. Pretty, pretty casual. You probably want to just, I would bring um, a couple of dresses for the evening, varying formality and comfort, and then just jeans and t-shirts and stuff for the day. Do you have any interest in creating content about other things other than cruising? I don't think so. I don't really have anything. I don't have any more to give. <laughs> There's no more space in my brain. 
uh because i love cruising that's why i started this i mean i started this in 2016 i started my website i took a cunard cruise and i sat there and i thought what on earth is this why did no one tell me or prepare me for this and that's where i started my website and i worked on that for i don't know till 2021 that's when i went full time so quite 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 a long time because i love it uh, thank you. You are very welcome. Have a good time. That'll be really, really fun. They'll be trying to impress everybody on that sailing. So it'll be so good. It'll be busy. You'll probably be quite tired. Um, I've done a few launches and new ships and stuff. Um, uh, Jason says, if I purchase and don't use the NCL free at sea drinks package, is it ethical for me to remove gratuities at the end of the cruise? Why would you purchase it if you're not going to use it? It's a bit weird. Um, if I purchase and don't use the drinks package part, can you remove the gratuities then the cruise? Um, I mean, all that you would be doing as far as I can see in that situation is you're paying Norwegian money for the drinks package. They're getting to keep it. And then you're taking the money away from the people that work on the ship. I wouldn't do that, <laughs> but it is up to you, of course. Um, can Hudson set up his own YouTube and social content? I wish he could do that. He hasn't got any thumbs, so he does not know how to do anything. Uh, he he can use his little paw pads actually on on the phone. <laughs> he can scroll, <laughs> but I don't know what he would have to say. Um, will you ever bring back the original versions of Captain Hudson? I have version two and three. I don't know because when I have made each one, I've always said this is it. This is it. People like to collect them. I think it would be mean to the people who did get version one at the time when I said this is a limited edition to then make it again. We could maybe do, I don't know. It, it, I can't, I actually can't logistically do it. <laughs> so that's a thing. If we were to do a rerun of version one, that would be in place of doing version four. And yeah, I don't, I, I don't see it happening. Um, yeah. Uh, Jason says, because you're required to if a cabin mate purchases it. Um, yeah, normally if you book a drinks package, everyone in the, the cabin has to have it. But if you are saying, oh, well, I'm buying the drinks and not using them, I'll take off the gratuities. You're not giving and taking from the same place. So I would feel bad taking the money away from the people who work, you know, cutting up the vegetables because I didn't drink. Like, it's not the same for me personally, but it is up to you, of course. <laughs> Yeah, Lou says version for blue Hawaii. Yeah, I will do a I will do a vote on that. Uh the color and everything when we when we're closer to having it done, I will do a vote. Um but yes, I like how we have Captain Hudson on my t-shirt here as well, just like <laughs> joining in. So the uh discount Emma Emma Cruises. I'm keeping it very simple that that, that is this design on not just this, hoodies, jumpers, long sleeve now. I didn't think that people really wore long sleeve t-shirts. I haven't worn one in a long time. And I asked and everyone does. So I've made all the designs in long sleeve. Uh, this is just 24 hours only. So if you're watching this on the replay, I'm sorry. But I'm sure I'll have another discount if you just come to the next live stream. Uh, have you thought about cruising Drake Passage? I would love to see a video on it. No, I get seasick. It sounds like why would I put myself in that situation? I think it's 50-50 if you get a terrible uh journey or or ugh, i don't know never say never but it's not part of my plan uh when is your next youtube video dropping i i think i think possibly today not for the early access so if you're a patreon or you're a channel member and you're on i think ocean view tier you get early access to the videos and i think today is the tui river one gonna go live um i think i'm I, yeah, I think it's done. I think it's done. So maybe for early access today and then next week, I'll put it live for everybody. Jackie says, wearing a long sleeve t-shirt now. I love them. Yeah, I just, it never crossed my mind to make these t-shirts in long sleeve. I just don't wear long sleeve t-shirts. And um, we had quite a lot of people asking for them. So I decided to do a survey. And yeah, mo more people than not do wear long sleeve t-shirts. Uh, that color looks lovely on you. Thank you. I really like this color. Yeah, I think I should get some of the other ones in this color. I, I like it. Um, it's nice. I think the orange stands out quite nice against it too. Um, yeah, hit that like button. Yes, please. If you can, that would be awesome. Going on a Tui cruise soon. Do you know any good all-inclusive tips for food and drinks or stuff to do on Discovery? So Discovery... 
as in Morella Discovery, because Tui is very confusing. Tui, there is a German cruise line called Tui. There's Tui River Cruises, and then there's Morella, which are owned by Tui, really. <laughs> so I'm assuming, as you said, Discovery, that this is Morella Discovery, and the fact you said all-inclusive. Um, Morella is very easy. You don't have to book any restaurants, as far as I remember. You don't have to book any shows. The shows are absolutely my favorite. They're fantastic. Go and see the shows. And even on Morella, you can just sit around the pool, and they just wheel round carts of drinks. And you just take them. So just chill out. You don't have to plan anything, which I think is really, really good. Uh, what about offering all four versions for sale when version four comes out so you could raise more money for Mercy Ships? I don't think I can because the way that this works is I get a big bunch of orders and then I go to the company that makes them and I say, can I have 1,600 Captain Hudson's please? And then it takes them a couple of months. So if I was to do that with all four versions, I think it would be like, it's going to take a year <laughs> and it would delay everything else. So yeah, I think for right now, it's just what it is. Uh, Donna says the Valentine's merch is amazing. Thank you very much. I have added a Valentine's collection to my shop uh, with Captain Hudson and he's in a little box and it has love hearts coming out of it. Do those t-shirts come in different colors? Yeah, there's about eight colors, I think. Lots of different colors. I have almost all of them, I think. I have the white one, the black one, the red one, the blue one, the green one. I think maybe more than that. I have like teal and different colors. There's loads of colors, yeah. The link is in the pinned comment or it is a description. It's just Emma Cruz's shop. So super, super easy. Make sure you are logged in as like the right country because we have different factories so we have a factory in the uk and there's a factory in america and you want to make sure that you're seeing it in your right currency for a start and then it will come from the closest place which makes sense i think uh, thank you for the christmas card so enjoy your patreon thank you very very much we do have christmas cards still arriving so um if it hasn't if it hasn't arrived yet then it may still arrive um miriam finding miriam says haven't got captain hudson version three any idea where i should get it i haven't heard of any that haven't been delivered yet so i would definitely be co contacting juniper creates and they'll find out where he is and they'll probably just send you another one and it may be he's stuck somewhere in customs and you'll get the second one before the first one then you'll just have two <laughs> but i think that's okay um Oh, have Morella moved from Malaga? Wonder if your experience in Malaga Airport was not unique. I don't know that they have moved completely, but yeah, that was a long time ago, that cruise. That was just after the pandemic. It was when we had to fill in forms for every single country we went to with all the COVID stuff, and it was a lot. Favorite tea on a non-UK cruise line? I'm a peppermint tea person, so peppermint tea is the same no matter where you go, no matter how expensive or cheap, it's just peppermint. <laughs> All right, I'm getting my blanket. I'm getting cold, I'm getting chilly. Um, this is why I should wear a long sleeve t shirt or some of the jumpers. I do have the jumpers. Um, uh, I'm not sailing on icon at the beginning. I, I, I don't have any icon sailings booked. I'll probably will go at some point. Um, but I did Symphony of the Seas last year. I enjoyed it. It was great. But there's so many other things that I want to do. Uh, it's going to be the most covered ship in the world. So the way I see it, why make a video about a ship where there's there's already going to be 30,000 videos about it? Um, so you don't really need one more from me. And maybe I'll do it in six months, maybe in a year. And uh, by that time, things will be settled in. It is very expensive at the beginning. It is always expensive at the beginning. And also that first sailing is very stressful. I find it really stressful. Everyone's running around trying to capture everything. Nothing is ready. You know, the crew aren't used to the ship. It's just, yeah, it's, yeah. I will watch everyone else do it. And then I'll do it some other time, I think. Um, <laughs> do you think all the hype with Icon was good for all cruise lines? Yes, I saw everyone um, waving the ship in. Everyone had all the t-shirts on everything. I joined the live stream, which was cool. And uh, yeah, oh, for sure. It's exciting. Outside of cruising, people are always interested in the biggest ship. It's very, you know, for general publicity, it's very interesting. It's interesting even within cruising, but outside of cruising, it's interesting. Um, will you ever team up with other YouTubers and go on a cruise together? I have cruised with quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of other YouTubers, and I will probably yeah I will carry on. I do have more cruises booked um, with some other YouTubers. Do you think we'll ever see Icon in Europe, or is it too big? Says Jason. I'm sure we will. 
it's not going to be the biggest ship forever. I mean, Royal Caribbean have said things about making smaller ships. I know there's rumors about that, um, but who knows? Who knows? So I did put together this week a list of three free things that you can do on MSC Cruises. So if anyone does have an MSC Cruise, check out the link to that in the description. I've done all kinds of weird and free things on MSC Cruises in the past. I went roller skating. I've done all kinds of slides. I've done ropes courses, all kinds of things. But that is in the description. I make a lot of content like that on my website. So if ever you were taking a cruise on a cruise line, just head to emmacruises.com, type in the cruise line, and um, you'll find all kinds of all kinds of random things. I have, you know, drinks, packages, food, lots of pictures of food, laundry, anything like that. Will you go on carnival again, says Ollie. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Is this, oh, it's a little Animal Crossing picture. That's really cool. Yeah, I don't have any carnival cruises booked. You know, they're not really where I am um, very often. But um, yeah, ab absolutely. It was good fun on my carnival cruise. I would like to do a newer carnival ship, I think. But yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What size of ship is your favorite, says James. It depends, I think, on who I'm going on the cruise with. Because if I was going with certain people who couldn't walk very far, I wouldn't want to take them on Symphony of the Seas because it's just absolutely massive and a lot of walking. But then again, if I was taking some of my friends who've never been on a cruise and wanted to really blow their minds, I would take them on a cruise like Symphony of the Seas because it's absolutely crazy. Um, have you ever taken a cruise with Amma Waterways? I haven't. I've taken a cruise with Emerald on the river. And um, yeah, Chris says, is that an engagement ring on your finger? It is my Nam's wedding ring and she died and now I wear it on my finger. <laughs> um, when you cruise with other YouTubers, do you make content together? Would you? Yeah, I have. I've been in, in quite a lot of videos. Um, you would see in the comments, Paul and Carol are in here. Cruise boys are in here. I mean, a lot of their videos... I think over the years, yeah, you'll see me popping up all over, even if, even if you don't expect it. Um, is Royal or MSC better? If I took a hundred people, fifty of them, I don't know how many, but some of them, Royal is better, and some of them, <laughs> MSC is better. Sean says, "Rest in peace, Emma's man." It was it was a long time ago she died, but I have worn this ring on this finger every day. <laughs> But I do get that question. Um, but anyway, better is not really what is better. Is a Yorkshire pudding better than spaghetti? Some people think so. Some people don't think so. Um, there's people who would prefer Royal. There's people who would prefer MSC. They're very different. MSC is very much a Mediterranean cruise line. People speak all kinds of languages on there. Royal Caribbean is very English speaking. It's only English speaking, really. And it's really focused on the entertainment and the food and yeah, it's just different. It is very, very different. Um, do you post when you're on, on other people's podcasts and videos? The last one I have encountered was All the Hacks in December. Have I missed any new guest appearances? I don't think I have done any in January. But the thing is, is when I go on someone else's podcast, it's always two months later that it gets published. Um, so I did an interesting one recently with the Shelter Cats podcast about Captain Hudson because I Captain, well, regular Hudson is a cat's protection cat. He was adopted. But I normally don't know when these things are happening till they happen. <laughs> so I normally just pop up on things. And I try and share them on, on Instagram, on my Instagram stories and in our Facebook group. I do a newsletter every week and I send out, you know, when my live stream is, um, discount codes and stuff. I see in the comments, discount code is not working. Can anyone else please let me know if the discount code is not working? It should be. Um, I tested it on this t-shirt and it was fine, but it is just the t-shirts, the tank tops, the hoodies, the sweatshirts, and the long sleeve t-shirts, I think. If it still doesn't work, I'll have a look at it after this live stream. Um, but yeah, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> interesting comments in here how many cruises have you been on if we count every single um river cruise big ferry press launch regular cruise and even the cruise that got cancelled at dinner then 62 62 would you advise again would you advise a introverted traveler against going on a solo cruise if yes what would be a good company or cruise for the person I would absolutely recommend it. The thing is, you can do as much or as little as you like on a cruise. You can go on a cruise and you can not talk to anyone. You can make no friends. Totally fine. Totally get that. Imagine a cruise where you just do what you want. 
all the time. <laughs> that sounds really good. But if you want to go on a solo cruise and you want to share your table at dinner and you want to go to karaoke with friends and stuff, you can do that. Um, I need more information really about who it is before I can decide on a cruise line. But if you search Emma Cruises solos, I have a guide to what the main solo ones are. Um, and some are, again, better for another person. If you do not have a travel agent, please click the bu book button on my website. And I have recommended agents that I can, they can help you. They can give you some ideas. How did Hudson become Captain Hudson, says Matt? It was just sort of on these live streams. So I started doing these live streams in 2020 in March because I was working in an office and we suddenly started working from home for some reason. And I wanted a way to very clearly turn off work and turn on cruising. So I thought if I go live at five, which was when I finished work, I can't answer any emails. <laughs> no one can talk to me. I can't stay late. So that's what I did. I literally, 5 p.m., uh, changed my screen and it went live and we did it every week pretty much and we we still do and Hudson likes to join us regular Hudson and um people started calling him Captain Hudson which I thought was cute and people will say oh where's where's the captain and stuff like that um <laughs> is it hard for you you cruise cruise tubers not to get bigger and bigger with all the food and drink it would be for me um it's different for every person of course for me i am way way more willing to eat healthily when someone else is cooking it <laughs> and i'll try different things whereas at home i think i'm quite stuck in the same the same routine um but yeah i i don't go crazy on a cruise i don't eat everything i want to on a cruise because yeah i cruise pretty much once a month now and that would make sense but then again I, on a recent cruise, I broke the 100 flights of stairs walked in a day record. <laughs> Normally, it's not 100. So I exercise a lot on cruises as well. But of course, it's totally different for every single person. Um, oh, Adam says, does the new bag company that's sponsoring you do men's bags or is it just women's? So this is this hasn't happened yet, Adam, but it's OK. So if you have watched any of my YouTube videos... Every single bag you've ever seen is from a brand called Mia Tui. And I got in contact with them and I said, could you please sponsor this video? Because I want to share, you know, a discount code or bundles or we might be making Captain Hudson packing cubes, which is crazy. Um, so that will be soon. And if you can please, if you do see that, if you can please say something nice, if you can click on the link, you don't have to buy anything. But if you can just sort of engage with it. That really, really helps me. And I'm really excited about it. Um, and they do have a men's version that's launching, not launched yet. Uh, so hopefully in the future. That's the plan, hopefully. Um, my mom says, there seems to be a problem with your discount. Can you sort it after the live? I can, but I need to, I need to know what's not working because it has worked for me. <laughs> I'll try again anyway. Uh, Stephen says, how can we support the channel monetarily? I know you don't have super chats. Yeah, I turned off super chats on this channel. I do have a Patreon. That's the best way. If you go to Patreon, Emma Cruises, that's what it's called. Um, and we have different tiers on there. That is the best way because then I can give you, you know, we do a podcast every week. I answer everybody's question. So if you come to these live streams and you ask, I try and answer as many as I can, but I'm sure you can see it goes really fast. But in the podcast, I answer everybody's questions. And uh, we have a Discord chat. Everyone chats and things. So Patreon is the best for sure. Captain Hudson version four needs to be redder for his sunburn. It's not his skin though, it's his fur. <laughs> so maybe under the fur he has sunburn. Um, if you were only allowed to go to two more destinations ever, two more destinations ever, um, where would you go? Um, Australia, absolutely. And Japan, I think that would be it. Ah, yeah, it auto-applied it for me. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Auto-applied. Hmm, it should auto... Yeah, it should work. Uh, thank you very much, Kerry. Yeah, need a new bag. Yeah, if you use code Emma Cruises, that's my discount code, so then they'll know that it came from me, and I think you get 15% off. If you can do that, that would be amazing. Don't have to. Holding out for Captain Hudson packing cubes. Yes, that would be so cool. I had a question earlier, and someone said, how do you pack so light? Because I always pack light, and I just said get the packing cube, get the stuff, squash it in, sit on it, and then zip it up. <laughs> That's pretty much my packing. 
Uh, can you show Captain Hudson version 4? I don't see it. It doesn't exist yet. It is just in my mind, and it's in your mind, hopefully. So it'll be just like this, the same base model, but it will be a Hawaiian shirt, like a beach version of Hudson. And I think I think it's probably going to be blue. Um, yeah. Oh, I really like the materials of these shirts. Very comfortable and not restricting. Yeah, they're really quite, I think they're quite long. I think they're longer than normal shirts. And also the this isn't too like, <laughs> so I wear these every day. Even if I'm, you know, when I'm just at home and I have a jumper on, these are the t-shirts that I wear. Um, I don't just have my own. I have other people's merch that's the same t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. It would be quite funny, like, no one sees what I'm that I'm wearing an Emma Cruz's t-shirt under a jumper, but if for some reason I had to take it off, and then I'd be like, <laughs> "Oh, put sunscreen on his nose." Oh, yeah. I don't want to make it too fiddly or too complicated. Um, I think I think just the shirt is probably the per perfect perfect thing. Perfect thing. Have you looked into Mississippi River Cruises? I love this spelling of Mississippi. That's how I think about it too. I've looked. I've been on the website. I've looked. I've seen all those numbers in the prices and then I have left. <laughs> it's very expensive, but I would love it. I would love it. Um, sorry, I thought you said that you had a mock version. I wish I did. And I will show you soon. And I'm so glad that everyone is excited about it. Yeah, blue and orange are complementary colors. Yeah, I thought maybe do green originally because most of the pictures of Captain Hudson are with the sea. So I thought maybe that would stand out more. But yeah, I think blue maybe. I'll let everybody else vote. Everyone else can 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 decide. And it is CaptainHudsonMap.com is the um where everyone is uploading their pictures. It's very cool. What is your ideal length of cruise? I normally recommend seven night cruises. I don't think you can go too wrong with a seven night cruise. Ten is very nice. Twelve is very nice. Two weeks is amazing. I've never done more than two weeks though. Um, I do also do you know three night cruises. I did a eight hour cruise by accident when my cruise was cancelled, five days, two days is very, very short, very, very short, very fast. Um, you cannot forget your name, you have your t-shirt on. Yeah, that's true. That could be helpful. Oh, looking for the super chat and didn't see it. Yeah, I turned it off because I don't know, I want to give everyone in, in here the same chance of getting the questions answered. I try and answer as many as I can. Um, and also I want to be able to pick the ones that are most interesting. The, the problem with Super Chats is they, I have to answer them and they flash up, but it might be something that we've already spent time talking about earlier in the stream and I don't want to waste people's time, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, how do you feel about Disney throwing away the travel ducks they find? Yes, yeah, so this thing, cruising ducks, are where people get rubber ducks, hide them on cruise ships. Other people find them. They take them home. They rehide them. They take a picture with them. And yeah, Disney has said that they're not liking this. They're getting rid of it. It seems to have come a bit out of the blue. And I think I'm going to wait and see if anything else happens, like Disney bringing out their own Disney ducks <laughs> before we sort of judge this decision. It's a bit strange. Um, yeah. What is your opinion on Anthem or Independence by Royal Caribbean? Going on them both soon. So I have cruised on both of these and I cruised on Independence of the Seas. I did a five night Northern Europe cruise in an inside cabin and it was like freezing because it was October. <laughs> That's my main memory. And it was busy because it was school holidays. And I did Anthem of the Seas, Norway. Amazing. That was the first cruise I did after I shaved my head for charity on this channel. If you weren't here and you want to see um, <laughs> me shave my head, you can see that. But uh, I personally prefer Anthem. But I don't know if that was impacted by how busy Independence was. And the fact that that was kind of a short cruise that I did try the flow ride right about the freezing. <laughs> so my personal choice, but they're both very, very good. Um, a question, how do you make an income from cruising? I mean, cruising costs money. Cruising doesn't give me money. Um, but if you're interested in how my business works, you know, how YouTube works, how my website works, how working with travel agents work, how sponsorships work, all of that stuff. If you just Google Emma Cruz's income, I've written all that stuff down because I understand how interesting it is. I've always had a, you know, normal nine to five office job. And this is very, very different. Um, but we're working on all, all kinds of different things, which is, is is fun. But yeah, actual cruising doesn't doesn't give me any money. It takes my money away. And I spend most of my money on cruising, of course. Uh, what are your favorite travel bags? Mia Tui didn't catch it. Yes, that's it. Mia Tui is the brand. Yes. Uh, thank you to my mom for sharing that link. Much appreciated. 
Um, are Great Lakes cruises more expensive than Mississippi River cruises? Oh, I don't know. They're both too expensive for me to spend that much time looking at them, <laughs> but it would be good. Oh my goodness. Some people do go a bit overboard on ducks when you're bringing a separate medium sized suitcase just for ducks. That may be overkill. Yes. That is crazy. Maybe limit the ducks <laughs> that people can bring. It's tricky because once someone's put them down, you can't really say, oh, go back and collect them again because they're all moved and it's tricky. But yeah, not sure. It's not really something I've ever done. Sometimes I see them um, and I'll be like, oh, and then I'll put them back. But I've never taken any um, with me. Action figures, Captain Hudson action figures. The sky is the limit, you know. The thing I'm most excited about next year really is the Captain Hudson's books. At the moment, I think we have three or four planned and um, they're going to be so good. They're for kids, but you don't have to be a kid to read them. Um, and, and they're for older kids. It's not like a big picture book. It's a proper story book about Captain Hudson, how he became the captain of a cruise ship, what he does on there. Yeah, very cool. Uh, how can I order version four for my wife? It's not ready yet, but if you go on my website, emmacruises.com and click the Hudson button or get Hudson or something, uh, there is a wait list or maybe someone can share it in the chat. Hudson, no, no, don't walk on the keyboard. No, you can sit with me if you want, but you can't walk on the keyboard, mister, because that will end the stream. <laughs> uh, but there is a wait list. If someone could share it in the chat, um, that would be much appreciated. Oh, David says, I'm not a kid and I'm totally order ordering one. Thank you very much. I'm, I am really enjoyed the first time I read them. I've read them many times. Um, yeah. Totally getting the Captain Hudson book. Thank you so much. Hudson wants to give his own replies. He does. He doesn't like me speaking for him, but, you know. It's actually five years yesterday that I first met Hudson and I went to see him and it was when I was working in an office and I went to Sainsbury's on my lunch break supermarket you know Sainsbury's and there was a poster and it said home wanted and it had this little guy's face on it and I wish I still had a picture of that poster because I'd love to see but anyway we went to see him in the cattery which is another Britishism I found out um like a kennel for cats don't you wag your tail at me Mr Hudson and uh <laughs> yeah and uh we took some pictures with him and he was actually a lot bigger then he's lost weight he's on a diet he's still a chunky boy but you know yeah, he is a good boy do you think i should give him some more treats for being the good boy these aren't dreamies actually these are felix but he still likes them uh hudson is the stream editor yes he is hudson has many 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 Yes, many, many jobs. Uh, what do you do with Hudson when you cruise? I do nothing. He stays here. The world revolves around him. Other humans live with him, feed him, stroke him. He doesn't care. <laughs> he couldn't get us. Um, your website says I can order version two. You definitely can't. There's no versions available at the moment. You've probably just found some sort of out of date page. Um, has Hudson ever peed on you? No, he's not peed on me, but he did poo on me once. And the noise, oh my goodness. <laughs> it was disgusting. I can't show you the noise because I have my um my phone is the webcam, but my goodness. Yeah, thank you. Here is the link. If you can just give me an email address, then I'll send you an email when Hudson is ready. I do send out the newsletter every week. So in that, I'll say, you know, any updates, Hudson's ready, books are ready. Uh, Hudson looks content. He is content. He's chilling. I might move that thing out of the way. Um, so the discount is Emma Cruises, right? You get it? Discount is Emma Cruises. There we go. Then we can see Hudson's little face. Dreamies need to sponsor him. I would love that. That would be an amazing, amazing collaboration. That would be so cool. <laughs> oh, I approve of Hudson's weight. He looks handsome. Yeah, he is a bit chunky. Um, but he is less chunky than he was. And he's within the normal range of chunkiness. At the beginning, he didn't even fit on the chart <laughs> for chunkiness. How do I convince my wife that an inside cabin is the way to go? Have, has your wife been on a cruise before or never? Because I think it, it will be different either way. Um, I would focus on the, the saving between a balcony cabin and an inside cabin and say, we could take another cruise with that amount of money. We could buy a drinks package with that amount of money, whatever it is. Um, that's how I tend to think about it. We think he should have some more, more snacks. Okay, he is being good. Come on in, Hudson. A few more snacks. Oh, I think my stream is flipped. YouTube comments on screen block my view of Captain Hudson. That is a good point. My screen is flipped, not yours, I think. There we go. Eat those. Ha! Oh, no. There's two more there. <laughs> 
There you go. Then you can see see the top of Hudson. He's very soft. He's very lovely. Yeah, take the interior cabin and get a drinks package. Um, what is Queen Mary 2 like for teenagers? Our godchildren's parents are planning a trip to New York. Um, it's interesting with Cunard. Some teenagers would love it. Some would find it very, very, very boring. Very boring. <laughs> uh, depends on the teenagers. Depends how much they are able to entertain themselves, I would say. Um, it's a traditional cruise. It's ballroom dancing. It's afternoon tea. Depends on the teenagers. There's not, you know, they're probably not going to meet that many other teenagers on board, I would say. Uh, John says, do you announce the future cruises you're going on or is it a surprise if we see you on board? It is absolutely a surprise. And I, I turn up everywhere. And the fastest I've ever had someone say hi to me was I was taking my bag out of the car in the car park. And someone was like, you're Emma. <laughs> That's the fastest. Uh, quite often it happens in the terminal now. But that was that was a record. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Hudson's off. Um, what version of iPhone are you using for the live stream? I have a 15. I've never had a 15 Pro. So I have the best iPhone, which I've never had in my life. I've always had hand-me-down iPhones, but it is the main tool I use for my business. And it's actually a lot better. I use the Zoom on it, which is so much better on this, this phone than the other ones. Um, and I don't regret upgrading. I think if I didn't use it for business, there's barely any difference. I had iPhone 14 before and then iPhone 11 and all the way down to, I found my iPhone 5 recently. But um, for for my business, the fact that 90% of my videos are filmed on an iPhone, it was worth the upgrade for sure. If I didn't have this though, there's barely any difference. <laughs> um the link for the wait list uh yeah here it is it's just forward slash hudson toy yes but if you get any emails from me i promise i'll tell i will tell you and i'll tell you on the live streams it's normally open for three weeks two weeks i think we did this time two or three weeks that you can buy them and then uh we have to have them made so yes <laughs> Yeah, you're Emma. Yeah, thanks for telling me. I'm sure they will ask. It's good that I know. <laughs> yeah, people do say that, and I'm like, yeah, I think, I think, I think so. I, I think so. I've never pretended not to be me. I wouldn't know what to do in that situation. Um, can you get a cruise ship to a destination, stay a week, and come back to UK on another ship? Absolutely. If you're willing to pay for two cruises, yes, absolutely. That would be fantastic. Um, yes. I, I don't know the question, but I see my mum saying I did RV last October. I did. And uh, yeah, you'll find the video on my channel. It is nearly the end of this live stream. It always goes so fast. And after this live stream, I'm going to have a look at what, what what is going on with the discount code. Um, because I don't know if it works, but we'll find out. For now, it is Emma Cruises. I'm going to leave it the same. Uh, I I... I really have never considered a cruise to Antarctica, but Captain Hudson has been to Antarctica, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we need to auction the previous Captain Hudsons to raise more money for Mercy ships. So I had this call earlier with Mercy ships. They're really, really lovely. And one thing we were sort of throwing around um, was the idea of buying, people could buy Captain Hudson, but it, for a child on Mercy ships. So it would basically be like, you pay for one and you don't get it. A, a child on the Mercy ship gets it, which I think would be really cool because I think there must be some people who want to support this and want to support Mercy ships, but don't necessarily need four Captain Hudsons. <laughs> like, that's quite a lot, right? Don't need any Captain Hudsons. So maybe we can do, you can either buy like a physical Hudson for yourself or you can buy one for the child or whoever is on Mercy ships. I think that would be quite cool. Um, but we need to see if that would work. Yeah, that, thank you very much. Um, Adam is a member for eight months. Woohoo! Can't wait for the new 2024 content. Number one cruise YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Adam. Um, that is appreciated. Lots of exciting things in 2024. I'm very, very excited. I'm always excited, I think. I don't think I've ever not been excited um, about cruising, I mean. Yeah, buy one for someone V4. Yeah, the same way if you go to TGI Fridays, you can buy invisible fries on the menu and they're just, it's a donation to, I think, a homeless charity or something. Same idea, like you could buy an invisible Hudson. <laughs> that would be quite cool. Um, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Right, okay, so that is it, I think. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for your support with the Captain Hudson things. It's absolutely bonkers. This was never my plan. Never my plan. But it's really cool to see. It's just see where Captain Hudson goes. 
I like putting them in my videos and I use them to measure the size of the shower quite often. Um, yeah, thank you so much. I will tell Mercy Ships that you like the idea. And then hopefully between the Juniper Creates here in Canada and Mercy Ships, which their ships are anywhere, they move, um, we'll be able to make that work. That would be really cool. So yes, I'm going to fix the discount code. Emma Cruises is, is the discount code. And I will be here next week at the same time, in the same place, in the same chair, hopefully with Captain Hudson. So yes, yeah, stay warm, everybody. Yes. Uh, warm and dry given the storms in the USA. Yes. If you have bad weather, please stay warm. Please stay dry. And uh, stay, stay in and watch YouTube videos. I think that's my advice. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.